Hi, my name is Goose and I'm a counselor here at Lutherwood this summer. Um, something that we do here at camp is every night at campfire we have one of our counselors share their faith story or grace moment um, about their journey with God. Um, so I'm just going to share mine with you. Um, so my, I grew up Lutheran. I was baptized when I was a baby. Um, we went to a Lutheran church all throughout me being in elementary school, went to Sunday school pretty frequently, I'd say. Um, it was just part of my life. Um, um, I started confirmation when I was in fifth grade and did about six months of that, but then we ended up switching churches. Um, and so I didn't get to finish confirmation. I didn't love it, but it was kind of interesting and something that I like that my mom signed me up for, so I did it. Um, when we switched churches, we went to a community church that was non-denominational, and all my friends went to that church, so it was pretty cool. I was able to go to their youth group every Wednesday night. I don't even think I missed a Wednesday night youth group for like a year or something because I loved it so much. It was really cool. We just, um, we always had a fun game we'd play. We had snacks, and then we had a message. Um, I never really listened to the message. It was just never something that I was into. Um, I pretty much spaced out or goofed around with my friends in the back. Um, I didn't really care though. It was just, I was there for, to have fun. I was in middle school, I mean, you know. Um, but the summer after seventh grade, our youth pastor organized um, a group of us to be able to go to Black Lake Bible Camp, which is somewhere in Washington, I'm not really sure. but where we could go for a week and st for summer camp. Um, Black Lake was a lot similar to how Lutherwood is here. Um, we do a lot of worship. We do um, some Bible encounter stuff and a ton of fun summer camp activities. I loved it. It was such a great week. But it wasn't until that week that I really started listening to the lyrics and the songs we were singing and the message that was being said to us every day. And I started listening to what um, the pastor or whoever was saying what the people were singing and I was I thought it was really cool it really touched a part of me um that week really really was a big part of my faith story um that's where I really saw God in my life and saw it as something I wanted to like keep in my life um I at the end of that week we did this prayer and it was we were just praying and then whoever was leading the prayer, he was like, well, so it's been a week, an amazing week at camp. Um, I want, I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes, just like pray to yourselves and commit yourself to God if you want to, if you haven't yet, if you feel like it's what you want to do. And so I was sitting there and it was quiet and nobody was really saying anything. And I was like, yeah, this is something I really want to do. Like it's always been a part of my life, but I never realized how much of a like how much of an impact it can make in my life and I realized that week of camp how amazing it can be to have Jesus in your life and so I committed myself in that prayer I felt so connected to God in that moment and that week that I I committed myself and I was like this is this is what I want in my life um so I got after that camp was over I went home and I was like mom you wouldn't believe it this is amazing like we listened to the songs um went to church more kept going to youth group started even listening to the messages in youth group and I was like this is just really cool um when I started going to high school I stopped going to youth group they still had an option for high schoolers but I just didn't I totally regret not going I don't know why I stopped but I did um I stopped going to church um slowly and we went Christmas and Easter but that was pretty much it maybe a few times in between um it was my senior year of high school and my first year of college where I really think I don't even know if I believed in a God I just really lost that whole part of me that I had when I was in middle school um I didn't think it was important in my life I didn't I didn't pursue my faith any stronger um and it was I just I didn't think it was a big deal I just kind of lived my life um so my first year of college came around and I I loved it at the beginning it was really fun it was a great experience. I met so many people, um, new thing, uh, so much more freedom, and I thought it was great. Um, slowly though, as the year went on, I became more, um, 
I didn't like it as much. I went home often because I didn't like being at school with my friends. Um, I started not liking my friends. I um, was making not the best decisions. Um, I guess a lot of people do that. Um, I didn't like, I don't like that I did that, but it was, it felt okay in the moment. It was really the last couple months of college, that first year though, was when I was really struggling. I cried all the time. I hated my friends, but I thought it was normal. I thought that was just how my life was going to be. Like I wasn't really enjoying anything I did, except for when I go play tennis or something um, away from people. Just like, I didn't like being around people. Um, and I'm a pretty social person, so that was weird, but it just, I thought that was just how I was now. Um, I applied for Lutherwood about six months before, because this was last year was my first year of college. I applied for Lutherwood like six months before um, the end of the school year. I don't know why I applied. I knew I wasn't very religious. I knew it wasn't a part of my life, but I felt like I knew I wanted to be a camp counselor because I knew that was, I loved helping people. I loved being around kids and I loved the camp experience. And so I did, I applied, I got an interview and I was so nervous. I was like, I just, I don't know much about the Bible. I don't know if I could do it. I interviewed, I got the job. Um, it was up to a couple days before I came here. Um, still super sad. I had so much baggage that I took with me here. Um, just bad decisions I had made and um, stuff like that. But I came here the first couple, the first day I came here, so nervous. I was like, I just can't do this. I'm not going to fit in. But I did. And I loved it here. And I still love it here. Um, we're halfway through the summer and it's my favorite place to be. Um, we start, we, the first week we did a lot of what we do on a normal camp week. We did a lot of, we did chapel. We did campfire, we did Bible encounter, um, we prayed a lot. I was never someone to pray, um, but I started praying and I felt, I started feeling so much better. Um, just learning more about the Bible, learning more about how Jesus died on the cross for us and to forgive our sins really helped me begin to forgive myself for all these, for what I've done and who I'd become. And I started to begin to find God again and it was an amazing feeling because I was so sad. And I was so um, unhappy, and I didn't realize how unhappy I was at the time. But I came here, met amazing counselors, um, amazing people who work here. And I was really able to find God in my life again and realize that he was always there, and I just didn't realize it. And um, it was just such an amazing experience, especially those first five days. I realized that life was more than what I had been living and camp really helped me realize that. And so my faith story is not over. It's definitely not over. I'm still discovering what place Jesus, where Jesus is in my life and how I can learn more and become, grow stronger in my faith. But my faith really came from camp. It stemmed from camp. It had always been there, but it grew strongest when I was at camp. And that's what I love about Lutherwood and what I love about all camps. like. We're able to like fully immerse ourselves in like this, um, our faith, um, sing fun songs about it, learn about what Jesus, how Jesus died on the cross for us, um, pray about it all together, have fun with it. And it's just like, it's something amazing that I forgot for such a long time, but I realized that it's just such a big part of me. And yeah, so there's my faith story and I'm still living it. So yeah, thanks for listening.